If you love using gift bags for more than gift bags, then this video is for you. Let's jump in and check out these DIYs. So on a recent trip to Dollar Tree, I saw that they had all of their gift wrapping options out right now. So I went ahead and picked up several gift bags. Now I use them for Christmas, but I love to make decor with gift bags. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to start with this Santa bag. And if you've been following me for a while, you know I love Santa, everything Santa, I collect them. And so I had to get this bag. So we're going to fussy cut out Santa to start with. And I already had this wood piece from a previous project. If you don't have any wood laying around, that is okay. You can pick up some Dollar Tree signs and do this same project. So once we have a fussy cut out, I had already painted this piece of wood white. If you're starting with a new piece or a piece from Dollar Tree, just cover your piece with some white paint. Then we're going to use a Mod Podge and we're going to go ahead and glue it onto our wood piece. Now, I have seen on my friend Aliyah Nup's channel, DIY Beauty on Purpose, she uses the spray adhesive. So I did not have any of that, but it seems to work really well for her. So if you have spray adhesive, do that instead. Now, I have some wrinkles in this, but that is okay because we're going for a vintage look. And so I was really okay with the wrinkles because the wrinkles give it a more vintage touch. If you don't like the wrinkles, you can make sure you use a brayer and go over it to get any wrinkles out. Once it is glued on there well, I'm going to take my antique Waverly Wax that go over the entire project. Now I went different directions and so this is a pretty vintage looking. If you don't like it to be this brown, take out some of your uh, antique wax out of your brush. You can put on as light or as dark of a coat as you want. I went ahead and added some vintage ribbon to the top with some greenery from the Dollar Tree. I believe this ribbon came from Dollar General. And that is it for this project. I love this one. It's my favorite of the day, obviously, <laughs> because I love Santa. But let me know what you guys think about this one. So for this project, we're going to use this bag and I'm going to tell you guys, I'm using this bag for the rest of the projects in this video. And yes, I said the rest. <laughs> You're able to get so many projects out of one bag. It is amazing. And I only paid $1.25 for this bag and we're going to make four projects out of it. So it's pretty awesome. So to start with, I had these frames. They also came from the Dollar Tree. I have never made one of these window pictures. So that's what we are aiming for. We're going to go ahead, take out the inserts of the frame, and then we're just going to use that to trace around in our gift bag. I cut out the four pieces and then we're just going to go ahead and in insert them into the frames. I hot glued the frames together and then just to give it a little bit more stability I used some popsicle sticks on the back that I got from Walmart. I used four popsicle sticks and I just went ahead and glued them right on. I added a bow up at the top that had some trucks on it because the picture also had some trucks so I kind of felt like that went together. My ribbon again came from Dollar General. If you've never shopped at Dollar General for their Christmas supplies they have a lot of really cute ribbon and other little things that you can craft with and I highly suggest going and checking that out. Once I make my bow I just add this greenery from the Dollar Tree and that is it for this one. I really like how this one turned out. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Thank you so much for being here today. It's time in the video for you to hit the like button. And if you're not a subscriber of my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family. Now using the other side of this gift bag, I really liked this barn and I definitely got like a rustic kind of feel from it. We're going to go vintage here because I love vintage Christmas, but we're going to use this wood circle that I got from Walmart. They're over in their like crafting paint area wherever their unfinished wood is. Once I use a circle to trace around the barn, I just go ahead and cut out the barn piece and I use Mod Podge to glue it onto our wood. You could also use the spray adhesive here as well. 
once I get it stuck onto my paper then we're going to do the same technique we did with Santa and we're going to use our antique Waverly wax and cover the whole thing and then kind of use a paper towel and get off any excess we're going to use some twine on the back and just make a little loop so that you can hang it on a tree double check that it's in the middle because mine wasn't and I had to make sure I moved it to be in the middle I went ahead and added a cute little bow at the top and that is it for this one it's an over large ornament or as I always say you can use an easel and put it in your decor instead but it's versatile and very vintage let me know what you think about this one project we're going to take one of these wood pieces they have in the crafter square area all the time they have different shapes they have stars hearts and the scroll pattern we're going to be using the scroll pattern one today I love to use these for ornaments all year round so we're going to go ahead and take two pieces of the same gift bag it doesn't really matter where it kind of went abstractly here I'm going to use the seasons greeting part but it doesn't cover the entire greetings part but that is okay so we're going to go ahead and use a mod podge we're going to cover it and then put our pieces down. You could use the spray adhesive here as well. That will also go faster than the Mod Podge. Once I get it glued on, I'm going to take my Antique Waverly Wax again, cover the entire thing, and let that dry. Then I'm going to use a pair of scissors, find the holes at the top, and then I'm just going to poke through there with a pen. Using the same twine, I'm going to go ahead and go through the hole, tie a knot at the top. I wanted to add a little something special up there just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. So I took some Merry Christmas ribbon. I think this came from Hobby Lobby. I've had it a little while now, and I tied it into a shoelace bow, put one on each side, and that is it for this cute ornament. You could use one gift bag and make several of these, and they would make really great gifts, or you could sell them. Let me know what you guys think about this ornament. If you've made it this far in the video, comment a Santa emoji and let me know you're enjoying the video. So for this project, we're going to be creating some postcards. Now in the summer, I made some postcards using some Dollar Tree calendars. We're going to do something similar here, only using the gift bag. Now I've used this gift bag a couple times in this video, so I'm just going to go ahead and use up any of the leftover pieces. That's what's great about this is that they don't have to be the total image. So you're going to get a more modern look if you only have pieces of the truck or something like that instead of a whole image. Now, if you don't like that and you want to have the whole image, you can definitely definitely do that as well. I went for the more modern look. So I took what was left over of this gift bag. I cut out four of these pieces. Now these are cards that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to glue my gift bag onto the card. These are postcard size cards. They also come with envelopes. So if you'd rather send this as a card instead of a postcard, this package at Hobby Lobby comes with envelopes. You can get these for 40% off when they are on sale for the paper studio. You could also use any other paper that you might have to create cards out of this as well. But you're going to want something sturdy on the back because the gift bag is a little flimsy just to make a card out of. So once I have my images cut out, I'm just using a regular glue stick. I'm going to glue it on to the postcard and that is it. I have this really cute set of four postcards that all go together but are different images. You can do this with any kind of gift bag. If you would rather have a more cohesive look, you could get one that has mostly just a big pattern and not any characters on it. And then you could have several postcards if you wanted to use these for Christmas cards. That would be great too or as a gift. Let me know what you guys think about this one.
run to Dollar Tree and pick out some gift bags for yourself so you can get these crafts made at home. If you loved watching this video and want more inspiration with the gift bag, check out these videos here. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!